Hey, I'm Justin Grubb, and I'm at Amazing Amphibians Exhibit here at the Toledo Zoo, and I'm looking for the Hellbender. And these guys are amazing because they're the largest salamander in North America. They can grow up to two and a half feet. They also live in cold water streams all throughout the Midwest and eat fish, crustacean, and worms. So the Toledo Zoo has a conservation program working with Hellbenders. So I'm going to meet with Kent Becker and go behind the scenes to learn more about this Hellbender project. So we're behind the scenes in the biosecure room, and this is Kent. So can you tell us a little bit more about this conservation program? Yep, this is the uh, biosecure room where we're raising hellbenders as part of the Ohio Hellbender Partnership. And the Ohio Hellbender Partnership is a whole group made up of non-government organizations, state-level organizations, and uh, zoos and aquariums that are all vested in uh, recovering the Ohio hellbender populations. Part of that project is one that the zoos are particularly well suited for, which is to head start these hellbenders, and at a period of two to three years, dependent on size, they will be released back into some of the previously quality streams in Ohio. We had a lot of streams that used to have hellbenders that went through a lot of insults years ago, and hellbenders were extirpated from them. Well, since the Clean Water Act and a few other measures have been put in place, those streams are now some of our highest quality streams here in Ohio. So they're particularly well suited for reintroducing the hellbender. So that's what a lot of this project is. So currently in this room, we have 170 hellbenders that we're all raising as part of this project. They are divided up into aquaria based on what watershed they came from. We come in and feed them about every other day, at least three times a week. We measure water quality periodically to make sure that it's at a good, uh, you know, good parameter for the hellbenders. We also monitor the temperature of the room multiple times per in Per day to make sure that they're not overheating at all. So what could people at home do to help the habitat of the hellbender? Another major thing that we can do for hellbenders is just protect their habitat. Like a lot of our local amphibians, habitat loss is a major issue. In the case of the hellbender, it's often not that the stream is lost, obviously, but the habitat within the stream is lost, and it can be lost to development or siltation or any kind of things like that. So it's the same story with a hellbender that it is with a lot of the wildlife here in Lucas County and Toledo. It's just a matter of protecting quality habitat for them, and in some cases, creating additional uh, habitat, which is one of the things that the Ohio Hellbender Partnership has been undertaking we can augment some of their critical habitat, which is their nesting sites, through putting in human-made uh, nest boxes into the streams, and that's one of the things that Toledo Zoo has been supporting, too. Well, thank you so much for showing us this project. Certainly, glad we could. And if you want to learn more about this and other conservation projects, visit the Toledo Zoo, and I hope to see you again. Thanks for watching.